Hi everyone. So I had a few dreams this week that I wanted to come on and share with you. But before I begin, I just wanted to touch on this little boy's vision that um, we watched last week. And as most of you guys know, we did have an earthquake. It was 3.3. And um, there hadn't been an earthquake in Egypt for over a year. We also know that this weekend is the true Passover. So I don't know what the Lord was truly showing this little boy. I do believe with all my heart that this vision was from the Lord. Um, as far as the rapture happening last Sunday, I don't know what the little boy missed if he just didn't understand the vision correctly. You know, nobody can say only God and this little boy know. And um, I'm just going to keep on having faith that this little boy heard something from the Lord. And as far as the rapture day, he just got it confused. You know, I, I don't want to say much more than that. But um, there was so many signs in this earthquake that did show that it was from the Lord. Um, I don't feel bad about sharing the video. It was my most watched video I've ever had. And I'm a very small channel. But for me to have 65,000 plus views was absolutely crazy. I just could not keep up with the comments that were left on that video. Um, and I've never been attacked so much from one video than I had in that, in that video. And these mockers and scoffers, they don't bother me because, um, one, they're, they're fulfilling scripture. Two, they don't know their Bible. They don't know the verses that back up a pre-tribulation rapture. And one, they always quote, no one knows the day or hour. That's Matthew 24, 36. But they stop at verse 36. They don't continue reading the rest of that chapter. And I'm not going to get into it, you guys, but, um, you know, I just feel so sorry for these people that are mocking and scoffing and blaming us that we're lunatics and we're taking these baby Christians away from Jesus and um, just leading them down a path of destruction. I don't see how that is. Most of the channels that I watch are very encouraging. And if I didn't have my YouTube family um, for support, I don't know what I would do, you guys. I mean, I, I believe we all are there for each other. We lift each other up. And I just encourage you guys to keep on doing that. When you see these discouraging, depressing comments that people are leaving, just pray and ask the Lord to give you the words um, to comment to these people. Don't just pass these comments by and think that somebody else is going to answer them or whatever. You know, just give them a little bit of word of encouragement. Um, Google some uh, scripture that will, whatever they're going through, you can just Google some scripture and leave that for them. But we just have to be here for each other. And I know I'm not the only one that went through. The best thing I can say is like a rock bottom depression. It just really hit me hard on Sunday. You guys, I, I'm the kind of person that wears my emotions and my heart on my sleeve. And I just want to be there for our brothers and sisters, for you guys and for the, you know, the lukewarmers and the unbelievers and the mockers and scoffers that maybe in one of my videos, something I say will trigger them to know that what we are saying is truth, that Jesus is coming. And 
true, nobody, nobody's going to know the exact day or hour that the Lord is going to come. Nobody. Um, but with that said, you guys, Matthew 24, 36, people seem to stop at that scripture and they just don't continue reading the rest of it. Um, so I just encourage you guys that when you, when you sit there and you say, no one knows the day or hour, please go back and read the rest of that chapter. Um, I do know that the Lord is showing many of us that he is coming. And again, you guys, most of us got our hopes up about last weekend. And honestly, when Sunday morning came, I just felt in my spirit that that was not going to be the day that Jesus was going to come and take us home. Um, and my husband had left to go back to Minnesota. His sister had passed away in her sleep. Um, the autopsy report still is not back, so we're not 100% sure. But um, I believe it had to do with her heart, that she had a heart attack or something that went wrong with her heart. We're still not sure, but so my husband had left for a couple days and you guys, honestly, Sunday, I was just so depressed and I thought, you know, how could I get this depressed when I was on top of the world on Friday and Saturday and just looking forward to possibly going home on Sunday and Sunday didn't even begin for me. It was like, as soon as I opened my eyes, I just knew that that was not going to be the day. And honestly, like Monday and Tuesday, I just locked myself up and I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to watch TV. I didn't watch YouTube videos. I just honestly, probably just threw a little pity party for myself and, um, and I, I was getting attacked by the enemy in, in two of my dreams that I had. He really came at me. And so I've been doing a lot of spiritual warfare. And we know that takes a lot out of us. And I had received quite a few comments that people, I'm not the only one going through this depression. The best way I can say is just, I feel like I'm on this roller coaster of highs and lows and this sugar rush that I got on Friday and Saturday and it's just like it boom hit me and I just fell flat on my butt and I just could not get up and again just threw a pity party for myself and just was just down in the dumps basically for three days so on Wednesday you guys um, my husband got back Tuesday night and I just kind of shared with him what I was going through and shed some tears and um, I just laid it all out there, you know, I, and so Wednesday, I just said enough is enough. I, I'm done feeling this way. I can't keep on preaching to my YouTube followers, my brothers and sisters to just keep on keeping on when I'm losing memento. You know, I, I'm just, I'm not as high as I wanted to be with the Lord. I, I wanted to, you know, just keep on encouraging people and keep on knowing that the Lord was coming. But for some reason, it just hit me. I'm only human. But, um, so you guys, anyway, Wednesday, I just, I woke up and I said, enough is enough. I'm done. You know, I, I need to get back on fire. I need to keep, you know, keep on my post and keep watching and keep encouraging you guys. And so I decided to lay down for a nap. And um, I told my husband, I said, I'm going to go have a talk with our father, you know, just see what's up. You know, this is going to be one serious talk. And so I did. And that's when I, I really do talk to the Lord is, um when I nap, you know, right before I go to sleep, I, I do a lot of my prayer time at nap time because when I go to bed at night, I'm just kind of exhausted and, um, I just don't get everything out that I want to tell him at night because I'm just tired. 
So that's, I had just make it an effort to talk to him right before my naps. And I always pray for dreams, you know, Lord, can you please just give me a word, give me a dream, show me whatever you want to show me so I can share. And as most of you guys know that have been with me for a while, you know, YouTube was not my thing. It's not my thing whatsoever. And the Lord had to push me for a long time to get these dreams and visions out. Um, so when I laid down for my nap, I was just, I laid it all out there and, um, I came to him as a child. I came to him as, you know, um, a sad little girl and not understanding what, what's happening. And, um, I don't know you guys, I just, I laid it all out there and I said, Lord, I, I don't understand. I've had all these dreams and visions and I'm now second guessing if they're from you and I don't want to be a false sister you know I don't want to be putting something out there that's not if it's not from you you know and you've showed me so many rapture dreams of springtime it, it, I just can't shove it under the rug and forget that they exist because if you've shown me anything, it's, it's springtime. And I basically said, you know, I'm done with YouTube. I, I don't want to do no more videos. I'm tired. I know many people have did these videos for years and years and years, but for me, it's only been 14 months. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've been, it, it feels like I've been doing YouTube videos for five, six years. And that's not even an exaggeration, you guys. I, I just feel like my whole last five years have been consumed with YouTube. Four years has been, but me doing videos has only been 14 months. And um, I said, regardless whether you come or you don't come this spring, I'm taking it as I'm not hearing from you. So come June 21st, when summer hits, I'm done. You know, I'm going to be done with YouTube. And I just, I need an encouraging word. I need to have the truth. And I don't want no more nuggets. I don't no, want no more, you know, I don't even know how to say it, you guys. I, I just, don't want to be beating around the bush anymore. I, I want the 100% truth. And I just feel like we've been running this race for so long. And yes, he's keeping us encouraged. We're supposed to be, you know, happy and not get tired. And, and when we do get tired, pray for strength and wisdom and knowledge and, you know, watching for the signs. And the signs have been here for so long that it's it is undeniable that we know we are in the last of the last of the last days. We are down to the last seconds. But for me, I just said I don't want to continue doing YouTube videos if I am not hearing from you. And it's it's just the Lord knows my heart and and I just want to be that vessel. I want to be that servant. I want to encourage people to keep on keeping on, but you can only do it so long. You, you, I, I feel like I'm a broken record at times, many, many times over and over. And if I didn't have dreams and visions, I would not have a YouTube channel because I'm not a teacher. I can't, you know, teach the Bible. I can't teach the love of Christ when, um, when I don't know the Bible that well, you know, I, I do know, scriptures, of course, but I, I'm not a teacher. And that's why you guys don't hear me quote a whole lot of things because everybody puts their own interpretation, their own little twists and turns on scripture. And it's just not a battle that I want to fight. And um, so you guys know I love the Lord with all my heart and soul. And I just wanted to be a vessel. I wanted to do more for the kingdom of God. And so when I prayed and asked him to give me another job, this is what he gave me. 
And now it's like, I'm, I'm second guessing it as, am I really hearing from you, Lord? Okay, you guys. So I'm not going to continue this sob story. And I didn't mean to come across as, you know, poor pitiful Chanda because it's not like this. I just wanted to, to tell you guys how I'm feeling and where I'm at with the Lord's return and my YouTube channel. You guys, like I said, I just don't want to be false. I don't want to be sharing false dreams or, you know, like Sherry says, a lot of our dreams can be just of our carnal mind, things that we think of. And again, the Lord, I just felt like, I do feel like my dreams and visions are from the Lord. And with all that he showed me about springtime on Wednesday, I just said, you know, and I told him with all these dreams I've had about spring, if you don't come this spring, then I can't do a YouTube another year. I just don't know how I could and just continue giving people hope just to watch them get discouraged after these days come and go. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done, but if you could just show me, don't beat around the bush. Don't give me no, no little nuggets. I want the truth. And, um, again, guys, I just laid it all out there. There was way more to the conversation than I'm what I'm sharing with you guys, but I just poured every fiber of me in to the Lord that day and just cried out. And I, I didn't know if he was going to give me something or not, but I did fall asleep and I had a dream and you guys, I don't remember the whole dream. Um, but I, I remember very clearly what was said. And, um, all I knew was there was a bunch of us and we were waiting for the harvest and somebody had said that we couldn't go on the rapture into the harvest was golden that was the key word golden and what felt like for eternity we were waiting and waiting and waiting for this golden harvest and then somebody came running in the house and they opened up their hands and they had the harvest in their hands and they were super, super excited and it said, the harvest is gold and we can finally go home now. And that's all I really remember of the dream, but I know that dream was from the Lord and, um, you know, I rebuked any dreams from my carnal mind or from the enemy. I just said, if I'm going to get a dream, Lord, please let it be from you. Show me the truth. And this is what he gave me. The golden harvest is ready. It is time to go home. And as I mentioned before, you guys, I have not been on YouTube pretty much all week. Well, I think it was Thursday afternoon. I had another dream that, um, this is crazy, you guys. I had another dream that I was with this family. This lady I used to take care of, her name was Virginia Kane. And we became kind of close with the with her and her kids. And she died back in August of 2014. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you might remember this um, experience that I had, I, I don't know when I did the video, but um, I would say about a couple months before this lady passed away, my husband and I knew that she was going to pass away. And so we went down to her room and we got her, you know, all washed up and repositioned and stuff. And her daughter had left for the night, and um, so we we went up to bed, and our bed bedroom was right above her bedroom. We were in the master at the time, and I have this little shelving unit. Um, there's probably like three, four feet between the ceiling and this shelving 
I, I don't know how you explain it, but um, it's like the top of another part of the ceiling that I have like little knickknacks and stuff on there. So there's like three, four feet of clearance and we were laying in bed and I was looking up in this in the ceiling and I saw this light come through the ceiling and I knew that it was an angel. I knew that Virginia had just passed away and I knew it was an angel because a couple months before that, what had gotten me on YouTube was my dad had passed away in May of 2014 and I just had given my life back to the Lord for, you know, the thousandth time in my life. But I really got back on fire for the Lord in April. And um, so when my dad passed away, I was on YouTube looking for like poems and songs and stuff I could I could play at his funeral. And I got on addicted to YouTube because I finally came across these angels caught on camera and I just got obsessed with them and I, I could not put my computer down and I, I watched every single angel caught on camera out there there was. And so I saw this video of this little six-year-old boy that passed away and he lived in an apartment building on the second floor. And in the video, you can see two glowing angels. You could just see the light, but you could see their body form in this light. And so you, there was no doubt in anybody's mind that these were two angels and you, the little boy lived in a brick building and you could see through the brick. You could see the two angels um, descending and they picked up the little boy and it was just like they just like they were floating on air and just touched and went back up. And it, they, they were going very, very slow. Um, and I know it was because the Lord was letting the guy that was videotaping, letting him get this on video for a testimony to unbelievers that don't believe in heaven and don't believe in, in Jesus Christ and angels. And so this, this video just blew me away. I mean, I, I must've watched it 20, 30 times and showed so many people like, check this out. Anyways, you guys, when Virginia passed away, that's exactly what I saw coming through my ceiling. And I had pointed to my husband, or my husband was laying right by me, and I said, um, Virginia just passed away. And he says, how do you know? And I said, because I just saw the angel come and get her. And he's like, are you serious? And I said, yeah. And we came down, and she she passed away. So I, I didn't mean to get into all this, you guys, but I'm just... My husband says I'm like my grandpa, you know, I got to like explain every little detail for you guys to get the whole picture. Um, but in my dream, you guys, I was with this family and we were at this huge event. We knew it was a celebration and my husband had cooked up tons of meat and um, we were sitting in the basement of a church. I knew we were in a church and there was just this huge celebration going on. And Virginia was there. She was the lady that passed away in 2014. And then my son, he was, he's, he's going to be 23 in a couple of days, but he was a little boy in my dream. And he said, mommy, I want some milk. And we went into this big walk-in cooler. And all I remember seeing is milk, 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 and meat. And, um, I know a lot of people preach about the milk and the meat. And, um, so I thought that was very significant, but then after, so that was basically the dream was we were just celebrating this huge event with this family. So I think it was yesterday. I watched a video from Christy Rivera and she was talking about the candy of the lamb and she was talking about that this weekend is the true Passover. If we go on the Julian calendar, um, she just goes into great detail about this, that this weekend is the true Passover. 
So tomorrow is resurrection day. So that's why I'm thinking is the little boy just a week off? You guys, I'm not sure. But when she was talking about candy, the lamb, she was thinking Easter. And what caught my attention was when she said candy of the lamb, I said, I just had a dream about the canes. And one of the daughter's names, um, Virginia's daughter's name was Candy. And we didn't catch on about her name until after Virginia passed. And Virginia had been with us for two years. But of course, Candy got married and her last name was Payne. But then I looked at my husband one day. I said, did you ever realize that her name, her maiden name, her name would be Candy Cane. And then he started laughing. He's like, I never thought about that. You know, because sometimes when she would like when she'd call her, she'd go by Candace. But her daughter always called her Candy. And I was like, Candy Cane. And so when I watched Christie's video, Candy of the Lamb, and I just had this, you know, and I was thinking, why, why did I dream about this, this family? But it just kind of like, is this a confirmation that Christy is receiving these words from the Lord and that Passover is truly the time. You guys, I'm not sure, but um, I just didn't understand why I dreamt this. And then I just come across her video talking about Candy of the Lamb. She, I think she felt like the Lord was also pointing her to Passover. And we know a lot of other people were pointing to Passover too. So again, after Sunday came and gone, we were just like, okay, you know, what's next? Well, then to find out that the true Passover is this weekend, and I believe the last day of Passover would be Sunday. So you guys, we still are in this for another, you know, 36 hours. And if we go past this, then, you know, so be it, um, I just know that the Lord is saying the harvest is ready. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be a week from now. But the Lord clearly says the harvest is ready. So whether it's April, whether it's May, and I'm hoping we don't go past June, but I'm still going to hold on to Kanika Rich's little girl, Megan, um, that she said Jesus said that she, he would be here before her birthday and her birthday is June 9th. And so, again, with the dream with the 69 um, years, Israel turned 70 on May 14th. You know, I'm, I'm still going to hold on to my dreams, you guys, and still pray and hope that spring is it. And um, so, you guys, I'm not, I'm not, never going to give up, even if it's five, ten years down the road, which... We already know it's not. I'm I'm never gonna get up, give up. But I don't think I ever want my expectations to get as high as they did last weekend. You guys, I've always been on guard when people set dates, and um, you know, of course, I got my hopes up, but not not like I did last weekend. And when it came and gone, I just like I said, hit rock bottom, and I never wanna go through that feeling again. And, you know, I just almost felt like I was drifting further and further away from the Lord. And he let me, you know, the best way I can say it is he let me drift away a little bit, but then he threw me my lifeline and brought me back into him like he always does. So, um, you guys, we do have to experience things in our lives just to make us stronger and better and, I believe I came out of this stronger than I did did going into it. But um, you guys, when you feel the love of the Lord, like like many of us do, you know, when I when I told you guys about that dream that I had um, with Amanda Christian, and the Lord just just poured out His love and His presence upon us. I had never felt anything like that before, even when, you know, when you're in church and you give your life back to Christ and you just feel his presence. It was so much more than that. 
I just can't describe it, but, um, maybe that's why I kind of hit rock bottom because I just wanted to feel that again. It was not that long ago that I had that dream and that really got my hopes up. And you guys, I do watch a lot of children's rapture dreams and visits to heaven. And, um, at this point I'm just homesick, but I still hold on to that blessed hope that Jesus is coming very, very, very soon. So you guys, I just encourage you to just keep on lifting each other up. I know that it's, it's getting harder and harder every day, but every day we get one day closer to going home. So we just got to keep that in mind. And we do see the signs all around us that it, it, it is now, I, I do believe it is any moment. And um, you guys, I just don't want anybody to feel the way that I felt. And I don't want to be responsible for people falling away from Christ. But like my husband said, you know, you're just out there encouraging each other. You guys are there for each other and um, just to lift each other up and you know, when somebody falls down, we all need to pick these people up and, and carry them if we have to, and just keep encouraging them that, you know, it, it's so worth the wait. It's so worth to keep our, our patience and just keep watching and, and, um, not blame each other. We, we got to quit coming against each other and, calling each other false prophets and p false teachers and, and blaming each other for other Christians falling. You know, I just encourage you if, if you are feeling like you're drifting away from Jesus, just call out to one of us. I am always here. You know, I'm going to leave my email in the description box below. If you guys need somebody to talk to, just email me and, um, you guys, again, just don't pass these comments and think that somebody else is going to, is going to comment, you know, be there for them. Just say a little prayer and ask the Lord to give you the words and scripture to speak to these people and give them five minutes of your time. And if you, if you can't, if you don't know how to lead them to somebody that can, you know, there's so many brothers and sisters out there that I know that would love to help encourage um, our lost, you know, and I've had so many people there for me. So you guys, that that's what brothers and sisters are supposed to do is reach out to each other and help each other in these last crucial seconds. And just please quit blaming people. You know, when you come on to a channel, like, I'm not even going to say any channels. I'm just going to say mine. You know, what is my purpose of doing YouTube channel? You know, YouTube videos, I don't benefit anything from it. And I do have to stand before the Lord and take account for my life. And that's the last thing I want to do is stand before him and say, well, you said this and you said that and you made this person and that person and this person fall away from me. You know, that that would just make me feel absolutely horrible. And I do know that the brothers and sisters that I watch are true children of God. And it, it saddens me when I read the comments in their videos as well just people just coming against them like they're the devil themselves, you know, and it's hard because all you want to do is be there and encourage and share what the Lord, what you feel like the Lord is giving you. And then you're being attacked left and right. And it, it doesn't make a person feel good when all you want to do is be a vessel for the Lord and these comments just bring you down and make you feel like a failure. So you guys, for you mockers and scoffers out there, please stop. You know, you are going to take account 
for what you are saying to them. And I just believe if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. You know, and if you feel like you have to say something, pray about it first. Ask the Lord to show you if they are saying something that they shouldn't be saying. But as far as nobody knows the day or hour, continue reading the verse. Read Matthew 24, 36 and on. Don't stop at 36. Keep on reading. And if you're still hesitant about that, you know, God's word is not a lie. Everything he speaks is truth. And I've Googled rapture verses before, and there's at least 22 verses out there that prove that there is a pre-tribulation rapture. And just the verse that because we have kept thy patience, the Lord will keep us from the hour that is about to come on this earth. I mean, that scripture alone pretty much tells you that he's going to take us out of here before the tribulation begins. So again, just get into the holy word of God and trust in his word. And if you still don't believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, keep on searching, keep on praying. The Lord will show you whether it's in the Bible or you come across a video there's thousands of videos out there that are great teachings on this. So I don't know what else to say, you guys. I just wanted to share that, and I'm going on 37 minutes here. I can't believe I just talked for 37 minutes. But um, you guys, again, Jesus is coming. He is coming. Don't give up hope. Keep watching. He, he says keep watching watching know our redemption is nigh know that he is at the door and that reminds me yesterday when I laid down for a nap I heard the words ready set and I didn't get go but I felt like the word go was gonna happen at any moment um and then this morning I received a vision of a uh, mushroom cloud. I didn't see anything more than that. But after that video that I watched, or after I got that vision, I watched an old video from um, Jesus Lives 444. And she, her son died for 40 minutes when he was 10 years old. And he experienced many things. And then he, he did pass away when he was 13. But one was that there was going to be World War III. But he said we would be gone before World War III happened. And um, so you guys, I don't know why the Lord showed me this mushroom cloud. But um, it, it was kind of scary. I, I didn't know if the Lord was saying this is pretty soon or what. But um, of course, I got my coffee and got up. I had a really bad headache this morning. And um, so I got up about a quarter to six. And then once my headache went away, I just started watching some YouTube videos. And I came across that video and he talked about World War Three, but that we are gone before that happens. So Anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, you know, tomorrow could be the day. It might not. But um, just keep, just know that Jesus is on his way. I believe he is. I believe he's here. I just believe he's waiting for, you know, the command to take us home. And it, it could be any second. It could be today. You know, we just never stop watching. Uh, if, if we're true children of God, if we're true Christians, we're, we're in love with the Lord. We're not in love with the rapture. We're in love with the Lord that we want to go home and be with him. The rapture is going to be like an amazing event, um, that just kickstarts it all off. But, um, once we're home, you guys, we're home for good. So just keep that in mind and keep pressing into the Lord. The more you press into him, 
the more he's going to press into you. Okay, guys, Jesus loves you. I love you too. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and God bless.